Morning. Um, got a busy day today. We had an early start as well. We had 400 pigs leave this morning. So that was a four o'clock start for me and Mark and Sophie. So we've got a long day ahead of us as well. We've got a turnip coming round to Fowler and Gilbert, which are our roofing supplier for the fibre cement products. And they're doing a bit of filming with us for some content that they're preparing ready for the launch of their app and a few other bits that they've got going on. We've got Travis here now and they're dro dropping some stuff off to keep Bobby and Lenny going. House build wise, we've got roof trusses on, we've got slate on the garage, we've got some UPVC, uh, sorry, composite doors and stuff go in, um, and one of the round windows is in. So we'll come back to the specifics on them bits afterwards in terms of how the roof trusses are fitted, how the slate's fitted, and all the lead work and all that. Um, but now we'll just give you a, a, a quick look around the house, see where we're up to. We'll sort Travis out first before we go. So what we've got is a pack of concrete commons. They're just your standard concrete bricks and they'll go um, anywhere that are, is required on the inside of the build where the block work is or a block is too big. So they're just to sort the levels out. Um, we've had a couple of bags of sharp sand. Sharp sand is sand and grit basically. And that is so that the roofing guys can bed the ridge cappings down on. The ridge capping is the very top piece that goes on the top of the slate either side. So they are, um, fixed with a fixing as well as they're bedded down on that stuff with cement so two bags of that ready for them and we've also got a couple of bags of ballast ballast is basically sand and gravel and that'll be mixed up to make some concrete for around some of the grid tops and and some of the the drains that we've got going in that we just need little bits for to bed down so that's what we've had delivered from travis this morning we've got a bit of a job on this evening because we've got to decide on windows now i think there is roughly around about 17.5 billion options for windows that you can choose from um, so i have got no idea i've left it with edwina to try and pick what color what shape what size she wants what hand opening all the rest of it so hopefully she's going to do that this evening um, and i'll go through it with her and then i can send it off to rich who's going to knock the windows up for us so He'll do then a schematic drawing, he'll come back out, go through everything with us, and then we can make sure we're happy, and then we've just got to cross our fingers that we pick the right ones. But uh, we'll head back round to work now, but before we do, well, let's do a short house build montage.
Okay, so here we are back at Fowler and Gilbert. We've got a turn it are starting to arrive as we speak. I've just seen Rahila on the car park, so she's just waiting for Cassandra and the two guys from the film crew. So they're here today to do little bits and bobs for themselves, but they've included us and been uh, made a big part of us as um, we've been working together over the last probably six months or so. I'll start with what a turn it do actually. So a turn it are a UK based fibre cement manufacturer, which fibre cement is the material that you'll see as we go through a lot of our agricultural projects. It's a material that we use on the roof. A lot of people know it as Big Six, which is their brand name. And it's a breathable uh, product that we put on the roof that reduces condensation. It works brilliantly in any form of agricultural building. So that's what they manufacture here in the UK. That's what we buy from them as a product that we fit on our buildings on the roof. And it is the best product in the marketplace and the best brand, obviously, hence why we're dealing with them. So the other thing I like about them is how proactive they are in the marketplace at the moment. So they're having a big push on sort of brand awareness. Um, they've launched this app, which is great for the farmer. It shows and helps the farmer understand a lot more about the ventilation of the building, what requirements are needed, what ridge. It makes our job easier, which is good, because um, obviously the information is flowing back to the farmer and then they know what they're asking for and we can help them um, as we go on and design the buildings with them. So that's really good. The other thing I like about them as well is they only employ the most handsome of people to help them out. So, um, I need to go and get changed. Simon Turner, sales director, he is in hair and makeup as we speak. And I've just got one email to respond to, which is sent for and on behalf of Road Trader Builders. And we would like to be paid for something we did completely wrong and had to redo. So I'm gonna to respond to that nicely first. And then once I've done that, we'll obviously catch up and show you guys what we're doing today with a turn it. So meanwhile, I'll go and get changed and I'll catch you in a minute. Clayton. So today we've got a turn it with us and they have come to do a little bit of recording, um, promote their app, promote some of their stuff. So that's why they're here. Have a catch up, show them around. They haven't been here before and seen our new setup and they certainly haven't seen the offices. So it's nice to see them, catch up with them. Um, go through some jobs that we've got on with them so you can be in the background and see what we're doing. Hello, I'm Lee Gilbert and I am the owner of Fowler and & Gilbert and we are an agricultural and industrial building manufacturing installer. We work nationally and we've also got a farm as well, so we've got 2,000 pigs on our pig rearing unit. We use a turnip sheet on all of our buildings. It's great to be working back with the turnip again. Um, the quality of the materials is, is second to none. We want the best quality product to go on the best quality building that you could possibly get. So there we go, we've met a turn it, um, showing you guys what we've been up to this afternoon. Obviously this morning we had a little bit of a recap of where the house is up to. The more in-depth videos on how um, the roof trusses and stuff go on, like I said, we'll come back to their own separate videos as we go along. But if you like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.